You ever get the urge to completely rearrange or change something? Well, that's kind of what happened to my creative office slash home studio. So how did this happen? Well, my goal with the home office is to have a space that motivates me to work. So that means having a nice looking area that's also efficient for my workflow. And like most of my impulse decisions, this all started with a TikTok. The first change I made was getting rid of my L desk for this solo standing desk. And to add more warmth, I went with a bamboo desktop instead of white, but I did still keep the white legs. I'm hoping to add a bit more warmth and color pop to this room since it did feel a little bit like an asylum. Now, getting rid of the L desk did spark a little bit of concern for some people, but I knew once you use an L desk, you can never go back, which is why I got this. A 46 inch Husky workbench. Also has a wooden top, but most importantly, a desk with wheels. The only problem is now is the main desk is a little bit too small. To fix this, I took everything off the desk, brought in this butcher block that I bought from Home Depot, drilled the legs from the other desk onto the butcher block, sanded both of them down, and applied a stain to it to give them a matching look. But just like that, I finally have a new and improved L-shaped desk. Or do I? Like I said in the beginning, I randomly get the urge to completely change things. The old stain was a bit too orange for me, so instead I sanded it back down and applied this oil-based polyurethane. And I personally think it looks much better now. But as always for me, one impulse decision always leads to another. I know I said I wanted more warmth and color pop in this room, but these tan colored walls were not it. So I'm painting it white. My vision with this room is kind of like the color scheme of an Apple store, white and oak with splashes of color. I will admit I was afraid that when I was painting, I couldn't see a difference at all, but after getting all the other walls done, it was definitely a noticeable change. Speaking of noticeable changes, I'm gonna move the desk to a different side of the room. I did this because I plan on filming more talking head shots here at my desk, and this longer wall can now serve as a better backdrop and more dedicated space for gear and displaying things. With the walls painted and the desk in place, now I can hang stuff back up like these posters, as well as get the PC back up and running. The actual desk setup itself is relatively the same. However, since this is an editing setup, I ended up swapping out my 34 inch gaming monitor with a 32 inch pro art monitor. Eventually, I do wanna redesign the desk setup, but maybe we'll save it for a future video. I did add some small things to the space, like this light bar for my monitor, a Govee strip along the bottom of the wall, and I finally got an updated calendar. Next is probably my favorite part of this setup revamp, the shelf. You might notice that I no longer have the pegboards that were above my monitors from the previous layout, and that's because this shelf is basically the replacement for that, just much bigger. To start off, we're making some measurements on this 4x8 piece of plywood that I got from Home Depot, and basically the plan here is to drill a bunch of holes 6 inches apart from each other to make a giant wooden pegboard. It's also a culmination of all the changes we've made in this room so far, adding more warmth, color pop, storage, and making the backdrop look much better. 104 one inch holes later, now we can move on to sanding. Which thankfully does not take as long as drilling the holes. After getting the board nice and smooth, we can throw it up on the wall, add some dowels and planks to make shelves, and start decorating. The idea here is to display items that show off my personality, but also be a home for some of my filming equipment. All right, so this is kind of the layout I ended up with. Chances are it might change by the end of this video, but this is kind of what I got going on right now. So far, everything looks great. We've gone from this to this. I will say I probably would not have done any of this if I did not pick up this singular desk. Because like I said, this one has wheels. Why is that so important? Well, I can move it around the room to create more space, set up different talking headshots, I can get better top-down angles, I can move this around almost anywhere in my house, and since I make tech videos, it's the perfect desk for showcasing products like today's sponsor of this video, Intel. So Intel sent me the Alienware M16 R2. It's a high performing, power efficient gaming laptop that you can easily take with you anywhere. Kinda as easy as moving this desk around the house. It has a portable and minimal sleek design but packed with specs like an RTX 4070, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage, and most importantly, an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. Meaning you're gonna get over two times the battery life, a thinner and quieter device overall, and optimized performance while gaming, but also creating content too. Because the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor 
processor also gives you faster and intelligent performance when it comes to things like heavyweight editing, making this a perfect multi-purpose laptop. I was able to run all these games on high settings, as well as quickly edit some content with no issues at all. These specs combined with a quad HD 16 inch display and a 240 hertz refresh rate makes this the perfect laptop for gaming and creating on the go. Thank you again to Intel for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about this laptop and Intel Core Ultra processors. All right, let's finish this setup. The last thing we need to fix is this empty wall. And something I've always wanted in this space is a paper backdrop system. Since I do a lot of product showcases, a backdrop system just feels like it makes sense. This one is from newer. It's fairly cheap. I got it for like a hundred bucks. What's also nice is that this is practical, but it also helps add more of that color pop I was looking for. Six months of impulse decisions and one backdrop later, we now have a room with a nice mix of practicality and aesthetics. Whether you're a creator or not, investing time and effort into creating a nice workspace is more valuable than you think. I'm not saying you have to go hard like this, but do what you can to put yourself in an environment that enhances your productivity and your quality of life. Thanks for watching.